This building behind me isn't just an average building. It's actually a piece of Michigan history. You're looking at the Michigan State Medical Society building built in the 1960s and designed by world-renowned architect Minoru Yamasaki. This is an iconic structure, iconic architecture. It's an iconic location here in the heart of East Lansing. Sitting on the corner of West Saginaw Street and Abbott Road, the Michigan State Medical Society building is a sight to see from its tall, narrow windows up to its unique repeating arch roof line. And it's for sale with a listing price of $4.3 million. There's two buildings here that are connected with an atrium and the building we're in is about 20, uh, 25,000 square feet. The adjacent building is roughly the same. There's about 47,000 square feet in total on site. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful grounds and you've got the trees that, that uh, help shade the building and, and give it some perspective uh, from, from a natural standpoint. But it really is it's the architecture of the building that makes it, that sets it off from from other properties in the Midwest. Completed in 1961 for the Michigan State Medical Society, this building can be found on the National Register of Historic Places. It was nominated because of its unique mid-century modern architecture and because it was designed by an internationally renowned architect, Minoru Yamasaki, who also designed the World Trade Center in New York City. So Yamasaki was actually of Asian American descent, um, and so it's actually a really unique story about how he was sort of a um, ethnic minority who was up and coming in the architecture field, um, which was largely dominated by white males for much of the 20th century. Yamasaki also designed four different buildings on the campus of Wayne State University in Detroit. And that was sort of his first big major success in Michigan. And actually, as a result of that, he settled in Michigan and his architecture firm was based in Michigan um, from the mid 1950s until he passed away in 1986. The Michigan State Medical Society building project was his first big project outside of the Detroit area. From the large boardroom inside that the Medical Society used to the placements of the offices. It focused a lot on um, open air, right? Natural sunlight, that whole front wall um, and the back wall too are almost completely glass. So there's a lot of natural light that filters through the building, which I think it makes it really unique and special. Henry Guthard worked closely with Yamasaki for about 30 years and recalls what it was like working alongside him. It was a remarkable experience because he was such a brilliant architect and he would explain his complex ideas for what would make a certain aspect of the design more impressionable to the people that live in the buildings. That really was really a remarkable uh, experience. And after 60 years, the Michigan State Medical Society is parting ways with their home. Time's gone on, technology developments, uh, obviously COVID issues with how you can deal with workplace strategies. Their model has changed and the building is just too big for them at this point. And we're, we're operating and attempting to find a, a home for someone else who can come in and, and use it the way they did. Sharing stories from your neighborhood, I'm Tiana Jenkins.